Data analysis is a critical tool for you to use throughout your race weekend. Faster and more efficiently you can do data analysis, the more effective a tool it is for you to find time on track. This data analysis trick I'm going to show you is all about working on you as the driver. Use it to identify and focus on areas on track that you need to improve. This technique that I'm going to show you requires only two graphs, a speed trace with your GPS speed and a GPS track map. Track map is there over on the side to show you where you are. The speed trace is what we're going to focus on to do our work. And this technique is outstanding for improving yourself as a driver. It's a huge aid for the driver. So what I want you to do is pull up speed trace, give it most of your screen like you can see in front of you here. Put the track map off on the right hand side and just make sure that you have your time compare ribbon activated on the bottom side of your speed trace. You activate that by right clicking inside the speed trace and go into the settings tab and making sure you have time compare checked. You can see what happens when I uncheck it. So make sure that that's on. Now the whole gist of this technique and why it's so effective and so easy to use is you're going to turn on your best lap and then three to four of your other very good laps. And all you're going to do is lay them on top of each other and look for areas where the speed trace spreads out and you have a lot of inconsistency. If you look here, you can see turns one, one, two, and three, things are pretty good. Um, now you probably recognize this as Beaver Run. When we get to turn four here, which is kind of the slow, slow left-hander leading up to the right-hander, you see a lot of area in this graph where the speed traces are all over the place. That indicates that that's an area where you have very little consistency, where you can really focus on smoothing things out, being more consistent through that area. Um, the same over here um, on the back half of the track leading onto the front straight. Um, use this technique, identify areas that you need to work on, and before you go out for your next session, pick one, two, maybe three corners or three areas to focus on. Don't try and go out there and fix seven things all at once. It will not work. I like to focus on one or two at a time, get those nailed and move on to the next part of the track. Now, if you're really, really um, ambitious and you only have a certain amount of time to work on stuff, you're gonna use the time comparison um, ribbon on the bottom of this graph to identify which of these areas that you're inconsistent in is yielding the most impact to your lap time. So what you're gonna look at in those areas is the slope of the line on the time comparison um, ribbon at the very bottom there. The steeper the line, the faster you're losing time or the faster you're gaining time. Um, the shallower the line, the more um, inconsequential, you know, it's not a big time loss or a time gain. So go in there and look, see what areas are the biggest areas you could focus on. If you only have a certain number of practice sessions to, to work before you're qualifying in your races, Focus on the ones that are hurting you the most. And on the flip side, identify where you're gaining the most time in your reference or your best laps or you know your pole lap. Where are you gaining the most time? And then try and identify what you're doing there that's working so you can apply it to the rest of your laps. All in all, this technique should take you under five minutes to apply, including downloading your data off the data logger. So it's truly something that you can incorporate into your, um, your routine in between even practice sessions. Um, I go to the gear up and I travel without a tuner or a mechanic. I do all my work myself and I can still do this in between every single practice session. That means I go out on track for the next session knowing where I'm making mistakes, knowing what I'm going to look to correct, and I move forward every single practice session that I go out there.